Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen. I originally was not going to be making these types of videos to put at least onto YouTube. Um, I didn't decide to do this until maybe a month ago. I am going traveling September 1st and was already going to be making videos for friends and family. Uh, that gives a bit more of like an in-depth look into what I've actually been doing rather than just sending <laughs> rather than just sending photos. Um, but yeah, I was like, I don't know, might as well just throw them out into the world as well for anyone who might feel like watching them. <laughs> My plan starting September 1st is to fly to Turkey for about two to three weeks. There's quite a bit I want to do there. Um, of course, things are kind of up in the air because of course things will be changing um, as COVID restrictions change. So my plan at the moment is going to Turkey for about two to three weeks, going from Istanbul in the north down to Cappadocia and then heading west to the coast and doing some diving there. And then after that, going over to Greece and then Croatia, going to the Czech Republic, as well as Poland and Vienna. Um, so that's my plan right now. I don't really have any set timelines for, you know, like how long I want to spend in each country. It's all kind of dependent on me and the activities that I want to do. I do have a few um, things that I am planning on doing in each country, but I mean, it could be like, I could be staying in a country from a few days to like a week. So we'll see. But um, I booked a one-way ticket just because I wasn't planning on coming back to Turkey and I also just don't really like having that time restraint as well. But my plan at the moment is to uh, travel for about two months or when I run a little low on money and then heading back home maybe end of October, beginning of November. So there were obviously a few things that I had to do to prepare for this trip. So I didn't book my ticket until I got my second uh, COVID vaccination, which was like beginning of July. Um, I booked my ticket the next day, I think. I don't actually remember. But yeah, so I did that. I also ended up going um, and quitting my job just because I haven't had a summer off from work or school in the last 10 years. So I just wanted to spend the last month um, just spending time with friends and family. So I did that. I also went to the optometrist just to make sure that my eyes are still functioning normally. Good news, they are. Um, I also went to the dentist uh, just cause that's also something that I don't wanna worry about while I'm away. Um, on Friday, I went to a travel vaccination clinic, which I also did before my other trips a few years ago, uh, just to make sure that my vaccinations, of course, are up to date. And if there were any I had to get, then I got those the same day. So I ended up getting a tetanus pertussis shot, which protects against tetanus and also like whooping cough. Um, and then I got my chicken pox shot, obviously when we all did, but I think when I don't know, honestly, I don't remember when you're young. But then at the time when I got mine, a few years later, they changed it so that you had to get two doses for it to be fully effective is what I was told. Um, but I think I only got one. So just to be safe, she gave me a second uh, dose of it as well. But that one, I don't know if you'll be able to see, <laughs> is not healing very nicely. <laughs> but at least I got it, it's fine. So I did that. I am currently looking into different, different, currently looking into different travel insurance plans as well, because now of course I need to find one that um, covers costs in case I somehow manage to get COVID while I'm away. So I'm looking to that. And then the one, the last things that I need to do is figure out how I'm going to pay for stuff there. So I'm looking into different travel cards. Um, that don't have any or like a very low international transaction fee or like withdrawal fee from ATMs. So that's something I'm doing. And the very last things that I'll have to do, obviously I have to wait until like a week before I leave is figuring out if I have to get a COVID test because at the moment I have a layover in um, the UK and then in Germany. And from 
what I've kind of gathered from friends and family and then also just like online forums and stuff is that I do have to have a COVID test to even get on the plane to go to the U UK for my layover. Um, but of course that could change since my flight is still only a month away. So yeah, that's just something that I, I have to wait and see and keep checking in on. Um, but other than that, I've got everything pretty well sorted out. I booked my first few nights of accommodation in Istanbul, but I'm kind of just going to plan as I go. <laughs> because I'm planning on doing some diving over there as well, I haven't been diving in a couple of years. So my friend Ali, who actually certified me back in Asia, she is going to take me through a refresher course out in Vancouver on August 9th. And then I'll also do my dry suit certification because you need to have that to dive over here. So I mean, that doesn't hurt to have. Honestly, I don't think it's really fully sunk in yet that I'm leaving because I don't know, I'm not like super excited like I was before my other trips. I think things are a little bit different just because we have been kind of cooped up in our houses or just at least in our province for the last year and a half. So it's really weird and almost like it's really weird just thinking about the fact that I'll be getting on a plane to go abroad. So I don't know, I feel like part of me just thinks that something's going to go wrong and that that's not going to be able to happen, but things are looking very, very promising right now. So I think I'm just psyching myself out, <laughs> but I am super excited, so it'll be good. A few weeks ago or two weeks ago? Yeah, I think two weeks ago, my boyfriend and I ended up going over to Banff in Jasper in Alberta. So I did make a video about that as well. I will be uploading it in the next few days. I figured it made more sense to make this kind of intro video instead of just jumping right into it and being like, here, watch my adventures, even though you know nothing about me. <laughs> so this feels really weird to say, but if you do want to keep up with my travels come September, then feel free to hit that subscribe button. If this is just a one-off thing and you're like, I don't care, Kristen, then that's cool too. And I completely respect and understand your decision. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video.